Hello goat lovers, Crystal here with Blue Cactus Dairy Goats and today we're going to show you how we process our aloe vera that we harvested yesterday but first we're going to let Vader and his ladies out to browse. All right girls it's your turn. Come on. I know. There, you girls have been mad, huh? You do not like watching the other goats take turns. All right, so this is my pretty girl, Lily. Um, Lily here just turned five this month. And so obviously when she has babies again, she'll be five years old. And this is gonna be her fifth freshen. Now, Lily is one of my most beautiful does. I really, really love her and her width and her, her kids are always just so gorgeous. Oh, hi. And of course here, this is Leia. Now, Leia is gonna be a year old when she has her babies, aren't you? And because we held off just another month this year, we were able to breed her, whereas I probably would not have. So I am just super excited. She is a champ daughter and just developing so, so pretty. She's gonna have some gorgeous babies and I can't wait to see her utter. Now here is pretty Lid Eye. Lid Eye is the only one I actually have not seen have mukba or get bred, which I know that I just missed it, um, but it is what it is. So we'll just keep keeping an eye on her, but I'm pretty sure she's already been bred. But she will be two years old when she has babies. And last year she had twin does and she was the first doe to have babies last year. And they were gorgeous, huh? Oh, Betsy. And Bessie here is my buddy. She loves, loves, loves attention, don't you girl? So Bessie had one of the prettiest udders last year. This is gonna be her second time having babies and she will be two years old and I absolutely cannot wait to see her second fresh and utter because a lot of times you'll see the first fresh and utter isn't exactly what you want it to be, which hers was. Um, and then as the years go on until they get fully developed around four or five years old, they, they also have development in their udders. So for the two years, two year olds, it's going to be really exciting to see what they can produce. Now, Mr. Vader there is one of our sweetest bucks. He's pretty chill but he is gonna be three years old next spring, believe it or not. And he just has some really exceptional lines behind him. One of his grandmas, Belladonna, is the only Nigerian dwarf to win at nationals two times. Now this is no secret. She is one of my absolute favorite does. I love, love, love Mayo. Um, and she is gonna be five years old already come next season. She's really excited. She doesn't want me to show her off but she'll be five years old and this is gonna be her fifth freshen. So she has earned her champion titles. She's also earned a milk star, which will put her a third generation. But she is just so pretty and literally everything you want to see in a breeding. So I love her. All right, and this here is Cassie. So she is a daughter of Cammie and a daughter of Champ. And she is blue eyed, moon spotted, and pulled and just just lovely lovely confirmation she's got a super wide body and i love 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 this doe's udder so she is going to be five years old as well and this is going to be her fifth freshen and then here is dreamer who is also very excited to be browsing so i'll try to make it quick uh dreamer here is a lovely lovely doe um really really love her confirmation love her dairiness she's very very elegant um, and this, she will be three years old, which is hard to believe. And this will be her third time having babies. She's also the mama of Dinky. And you're gorgeous. You want that, Betsy? You want that mayo? You want to pick it yourself? Okay, so they're super, super happy to be browsing.
Blue Cactus Soap has made over 10,000 sales while maintaining Etsy's Star Seller Badge for fast shipping, excellent customer service, and over 2,000 five-star reviews. Blue Cactus Soap is a small family-run business that takes great pride in offering only the best, all-natural, high-quality soaps. If you haven't tried Blue Cactus Soap before and want to know what everyone is raving about, head on over to our Etsy shop and show your skin some love. The link is in the description below. And to everyone that has purchased Blue Cactus Soap and made this possible, thank you. All right, so now we're going to process all of the aloe leaves that we harvested yesterday. And it's a pretty simple process, but it can get time consuming if you have as much as we do. But let's get started. So first off, we're just gonna clean all of the leaves and give them a good rinse, making sure you're really careful not to stab yourself with those sharp needles. And then, just get a knife and we're gonna cut those needles off. Now, I don't wanna take a bunch of it, I'm just looking to get the needles so that we have as much of that flesh as possible. Just the needles. Now, I'm gonna just cut the tip off there. And then this is, you know, it's been exposed to dirt just because we harvested it out in the garden, obviously. So we'll just cut that off so it's all good and clean. So after you got them clean and needle free, we're going to go cut them open and get the flesh out. Okay, so now I'm just gonna take my knife and we're gonna cut the aloe in half. like so and this is the part we really really want so you just take your spoon and you just scrape it right off of the rind and check it out that is aloe flesh so now i'm just going to put this flesh in this bowl Yes, right, so just getting as much as possible. So I have my bowl of aloe flesh here, and as you can see, there's lots of chunks, and then some of it is already the liquid. What we're looking to do is make all of this liquid, and to do so, I'm gonna use my Fancy Dancy Ninja. So, I'm just gonna ladle it here into my Ninja cup. And we shouldn't need any water to get this going because it is really liquidy, but sometimes you do. So I have uh, distilled water on hand if I need to and only use distilled. All right, so that is good. Just gonna put the lid on, wipe off the slime, and here we go. So it does get a little bit foamy, but you can see the consistency already. It looks pretty chunk free, but I'm not gonna let my eyeballs be the judge of that. Because now I'm going to actually strain it just to make extra sure that it is in a liquid form. So I got enough for now, 
of the, the puree in liquid form. I'm sorry, the flesh. And it's all good to go. So what I'm gonna do is pour it in this measuring cup just for easy pouring. This stuff is a lot of work to get. Don't want it spilling everywhere. Then I'm just gonna get it into some ice trays. these bad boys and they will all just go in the freezer and leave them in the freezer for at least 48 hours because you want them to be good and cold and the reason that you go through this whole process is so that the lye isn't going to burn your aloe just the same as with the milk cubes because uh, it's lye in cubes so anyway we got a lot more work to do so we're me and emily are going to get on that but we will see you again soon and we will show you how we make our aloe soap bye guys mm -hmm.